right, good morning. Um, it is currently 5.52 a.m. Welcome to the UW Platteville indoor meet vlog. Um, this will be the last indoor meet that Marshall goes to um, as a team. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I have the mile and the two mile today. So I'm gonna be trying to rip some good times today in the mile and two mile. So I will see you on the ride there. Here. All right, it is now currently 11 o'clock. Uh, Luke and I are just sitting here waiting for our mile race, which is probably still in like 40 minutes since this is such a slow meet. But yeah, I'll update you when the race starts. All right, it is now almost race time, so it is time to see what I can do. All right, starting off with the mile race here. Um, in this race, my goal was to try to get around 450. Um, but ultimately just compete with these guys around me. I knew at the Platteville meet I was going to have a lot of competition in the mile race and I wanted to try to stick with them um, here. Uh, everyone got out really fast, so I'm in about like 5th or 6th place right here. But I knew that they went out a little bit too fast and I'd be able to put around them. So I'm sitting in 4th right here, just staying patient this first spot. I still felt like this first lap was definitely um, fast, so I know I'm in a good spot here. Um, yeah, so for this mile race, I just wanted to stay calm. It was really the first um, mile race besides the Winter Wisco Mile um, for this season, so just kind of seeing um, my level of fitness at this point. I move up into third place right here. This 400 meter split it was honestly faster than what I was expecting. It was about uh, 68 or 69, which was even faster than what I went out at the Winter Wisco Mile by a second. And I ended up falling off in that race. So I was thinking right here to like, just stay strong with these guys in front of me and still just staying attached to them in third place. Um, just stay calm, stay relaxed. Bottom line, at least I knew in this race I would have people to kind of stay attached with instead of living to this goal race where people got away from me. Uh, so right here, just I know I'm falling back a little bit, but honestly, I just wanted to leave myself a little space um, with my footing, just so I know at the end of the track you feel like you're on top of everyone. So just staying with them, staying attached, staying calm. Yeah, honestly, in some of these races, I don't exactly remember what I'm thinking. You know, it's just hard to stay in it mentally. But, uh, especially with the mile and two mile races, just remember to stay with them. Coming through here at the 800 meter mark, um, I remember I split at 800 times of 223, which was exactly what I did at Winter Wisco Mile, and then I ended off. Of falling off at that race, so my goal for this one was to um, really make sure I stayed in it mentally and physically. This third lap, or fifth and sixth lap on the indoor track, but third lap in the typical outdoor race. Um, so yeah, just kind of stayed with it. I know the leader starts breaking off here. Um, I decided that I didn't want to try to go and chase him this part of the race and just waste energy. So I'm just sticking with Brett right here, which he's in second. I'm just staying with him, staying connected to him. Third. And looking back, I guess I maybe should have gone around Brett earlier. Just now we're getting into the line of traffic. It's more difficult. And I'm just going to stay with him. Yeah, just kind of making sure that I'm not just staying in touch with someone so I'm not just like, struggling on my own. I really wanted to be tried to stay with someone. 
Henry Brown would be chasing uh, around 4.50 and yeah, just staying with him. Just still staying calm, staying relaxed. I know it really starts to hurt at this point in the race. Um, you really have to remember at this point what, what your goals are for that race. And yeah, I'm still just trying to stay with him. Coming around here, um, I'm saying I lost track at this point. There's one or two minutes left. This is where I'm really just like trying to catch up at the bed. Um, but ultimately, he ended up pulling away from me on this last lap. He ended up with a time of 4.52 and he ended up with a time of 4.55, which is a little bit off, but ultimately, it's still a great spot to be and better than the traditional lap. So, this was a huge improvement. Happy with this, my always. All right, I have now completed the mile race. I ended with a time of 4:55. Um, I'm happy with it. I think I could have gone out a bit um, more conservative and finished stronger, but it's a good first indoor mile race. And yeah, now I'm just gonna sit here and chill until the two mile, which is probably in three more hours. So lots of time to recover. All right, I will now be doing the voiceover for the two mile race. Um, I didn't get as much footage for this race just because I don't wanna bore you with like 11 minutes of footage. But here is the start of the race. Um, another goal for this race, I knew Carter was gonna um, run off and probably go win it. So I just wanted to stay connected with the second and third place. Here is coming in to lap number two. Here is just another short clip. So I passed um, third place guy right there. And ultimately the rest of this race, I really just stayed in about third place, trying to stay connected to that one guy. Um, here are another short clips. And shout out to Carter for winning this two mile race. And yeah, I ended up in third place with a time of 10.51, which I was extremely happy with. Nine seconds off. All of right, I have now had a little time to reflect on that Platteville meet. Um, ultimately, it was a great indoor meet, and I was really happy with my times in the mile and two mile. Looking forward, I have a little break now. Um, that was our last indoor meet as a team, and we don't have our first outdoor meet until April um, 5th. I th I'm pretty sure April 5th a Friday so yeah thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one thank you